said we had limits, please. Made in your God's image. Ay. Tippy toe to the window screen. Uh, I can hear you breathe. Last year got us feeling mad. No, I done reached up on my sleeve. Had something for you since middle school. Think that'll stay. Hey. So. <coughs> <clears throat> so hello friends out there who have been watching me on YouTube, on your laptop, computer, iPad, iPhones, or whatsoever. Hi. So today I'm actually here to talk about my experience that I just had. If you guys have been following me on following me on Instagram, you might have seen that I went diving. And it's not just like, you know, snorkeling and just watching all the Nemo's But I had been doing scuba diving So today I'm going to just, you know, share my experience of what I have learned from this whole journey Hi, I just wanted to say that I am not a professional on this field and I am here to talk about only my personal experience and the struggle that I had. So if I had said anything wrong, please comment down below just, you know, to correct me. Thank you so much! To start things off, why I'm learning how to dive, it was all began with my dad. He actually learned how to dive back then when it wasn't even exist, like, you know, 20 years ago. And he just found himself really passionate in diving and he loved the aquatic life. So he decided to be an instructor. And it all because he dated my mom and she was pregnant. that he stopped so basically i was the reason why he stopped diving nah this period is not i think it's this whatsoever but i think right now he's kind of like taking all the revenge so he just like oh you know what let's learn how to dive so the course that i took was an open water course and what I had to do was, there's like three sections. The first one is to, you know, I had to study all the theories of diving. Number two is the confined water dive, or I also call it like a pool session. And the third one is when you actually go to the ocean, go to the sea, and you do all the skills that you have been learned. So let's hear me out and how I survive all those kind of stuff so for the first day that I went there I had to study you know the manuals it included five total sections and you know at the end you have to do like the full exams I have to learn about the equipments that they have like so basically they actually like there's a lot <laughs> so I've learned all about you know the regulator also like the tank, the BCD or the C controlling device. I learned about the pressure that would be increasing as you do you know descending underwater. The key is to be safe. For the, on the first day, I kind of feel like, oh, this is my new experience. This is not going to be hard. It's all going to be fine. And I took the final test and I kind of got like good score in it like not pretty bad so the next stage is the confined water dive and that's when i kind of get terrified i am i'm quite a person that can be scared so easily so it's kind of like freaked me out that you have to rely all of your life on the regulator on the air within the tank and that's it so on the con confined water dive or the pool sessions you have to do all the skills there are simple ones such as 
equipment assembly which is when you assemble every single equipment all by yourself also body check which is the procedure when you checked everything uh, either your equipment or the breathing system and everything of your buddies the giant strike like you know the one when you get off the boat and onto the water You have to be able to like just keep your fin up and keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. 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 And the ones that kind of freaked me out was what's the one that involving the regulator? I didn't want to put the regulator out of my mouth because it's the only thing that I can breathe into. But you know, eventually I did it and. Okay, nothing happened, nothing bad, I didn't die, and I survived. So that's a good sign. But then, you know, I think it's a normal thing when you like when you encounter something new in your life, and it's kind of like challenging. So continuing with the story, so I ended up on the position not really well, because I kind of felt scared of what's gonna happening. I kind of struggle a lot. Because I'm stressed. <laughs> so, let's begin with the thing that I just had experience, which is the trip of certification. So, I went to Same San Island, which is not really far from Bangkok. And you know, the traffic in Thailand is, um,. So yeah, it took some time. So actually, there would be more people coming to like the trip like this. But for this trip, there's only like four people in total, including me and my sister. Because that was the news that at Samasan Island, there was this tour guide went on diving with all the tourists, and he. he kind of picked up the sea anemone which is like you know if you could see it's the Nemo's house and that is technically illegal I don't know I think the government or the like the higher people they kind of like close the beach and I think it's only like some part of the island that they kind of close so a lot of people didn't know that and they cancelled all the plan to like going to the trip but we didn't so we were able to like get a certified and we're gonna go dive on Saturday and Sunday for each day we have two dives which is in the morning and in the afternoon so for the first day I woke up and I felt so nervous I didn't know what to expect I didn't know what's to come so before we going on the first dive, like every time though that we have to go on like diving, the instructor or the dive master, they will come to you to guide you about uh, the dive site and everything that you're gonna do. Especially if you're coming here to certified, you have to know the skills that are gonna be tested. So for the first dive, I kind of like really, really nervous. My heart was beating so fast so on the first dive we had to do the skills where you got water into the, your goggles and you have to get all the water out as well as um you know you have to change this, uh, the regulator if you like if something happened and you want to take it out you have to be able to put um, the water out of the regulator and it's it was actually it was more than what I expected I was doing well and it was quite fun for me so first dive checked but it's not until the second dive that some difficult things happen the thing it doesn't happen when we do all the skills I pass it all I Totally shield, 
But the thing was when we exploring, I remembered we kind of like chilling and everything was fine. I kind of like get intrigued on everything that I saw. But then, as my instructor and my sister kind of like seeing all these intrigued things, I started to notice myself that like I started to float, and I couldn't hold on to anything. Like they're right there, and I started to feel like myself floating up and up and up, and I see my instructor kind of like. Oh wait, where's Ravi? Where 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 did she go? And I I couldn't help it. I couldn't do anything. I just like keep floating. I kind of noticed that like oh they were looking for me and I didn't know what to do. You no, know, I'm trying to see if it'll work out here, and I know that it's not. But we have trained for this. I have learned about this. So basically, we have to like be in the water around the area for only one minute. And when the one minute is over, you have to like go up and see where the people are. But for me, in one minute, it's longer than the other. So I kind of like in the water longer, and you know the other people kind of freaked out of where I was because I, they thought I was lost somehow, and that's dangerous. So. When the one minute is over, I kind of like looked up and see that oh they're calling out for me. So I was like, oh hi, I'm here. And my sister, she later on told me that like she was freaked out. She was so worried that like I get lost or somehow. So, on the third dive, the next day, she wouldn't let go of my hands at all. She just like hold my hands so tight because she was afraid that I'm gonna. Lost again. That was somehow a funny story when it's really dangerous. But yeah, be careful, everyone. Be careful. I don't want that to happen with anyone. But on the second day, I kind of felt better. I, you know, after seeing all the sea, like all the creature in the oceans, it kind of like brightened up my eyes, and it was amazing. My kind of stress turned out to be excitement, and I wanted to do more. I wanted to explore and to see what is underwater, what is down there. So on the next day, the obstacle for the third dive was the sea erosion. Is that what you call it? As soon as we kind of like dive down there, all we see was the sea urchin, and if you got spiked by them. It would be pain. Surely we had to go down there. I had some struggle finding place to land, and we have to do some skills that is left. We went to the site where it usually be the Navy. They kind of use this space to to test out the bombs, and we had saw like a little pieces of the bomb that they haven't exposed, and it was quite dangerous. But it was fun. We had to explore like things, and it was really good on that dive. Coming on the last dive that we had, we were able to finally. Die for fun, because you know, um, before this it was all because of like the tests and doing all the skills. But this time we got a chance to actually explore the aquatic life. So for the fourth di dive, we went down as deep as twenty meters. I got a chance to see this really really huge turtle. We didn't see the turtle at first. It was my instructor that hitting like his tank, and there's like this sounds of this one. That's like oh he saw something big, and we went there. And we saw this really really cute, and he's huge also. Turtles. He kind of like swim by. I couldn't kind of keep up with him, and he just gone. But it was some kind of accomplishment that I see something like a big creature in. The sea. So 
overall, I would say this was a really I don't know. It's an amazing experience that I had, and it's kind of like I got to break through my challenge. Like I have to break through my comfort zone somehow. And I got a chance to experience all this kind of stuff that I had never seen before. So if you guys are interested, I highly recommend it you to, you know, just go on and learn how to dive. So maybe that's it for today. I am here to just, you know, share all my experience, and I think you guys are impressed with it. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Bye.